David Stanton awoke with a gasp, disoriented and gasping for air. His heart raced as he realized he was in total darkness, his body confined to a tight, suffocating space. Panic surged through him as he realized he could barely move, his limbs pressed against cold and yielding surfaces. He tried to remember how he had gotten here, but his mind was a blank slate, devoid of any recollection. Fear clawed at him as he realized he had no idea where he was, how he had ended up in this nightmare, or even who he was. The only thing he could feel was the oppressive weight of the earth above him. The first sensation that registered was the soil pressing down on his chest, making every breath a struggle. His lungs burned for air, and he knew that he needed to get out, and fast. In a panic, he thrashed about, kicking his legs and pounding his fists against the tight confines of the space. The sensation of confinement was suffocating, and he could feel his heart pounding in his chest as he desperately clawed at the wood surrounding him. His voice was hoarse as he screamed, the sound muffled by the earth above. He felt the sweat pour down his face, mixing with the dirt that clung to his skin. Each minute felt like an eternity, and the walls of the coffin seemed to close in on him. As his strength waned, he became aware of the futility of his efforts. He was trapped, with no idea of how deep he was buried or if anyone even knew he was down here. Exhausted and on the brink of despair, he began to sob, the tears mixing with the dirt on his face. Time passed in a blur of fear and darkness. It was impossible to know how long he had been buried, but it felt like an eternity. He drifted in and out of consciousness, each time waking to the same nightmare of confinement and dread. But then, just as he felt himself slipping into unconsciousness once more, he heard a distant sound. It was faint, like the distant murmur of voices. Desperation surged within him, and he found the strength to call out, his voice a hoarse whisper. Help, is anyone out there? Please help me. The voices grew louder, and he could hear the sound of shovels digging through the earth. His heart leapt with hope as he realized that someone was trying to unearth him. He began to pound on the walls of the coffin with renewed vigor, the adrenaline pumping through his veins. As the sounds of digging grew closer, he could hardly contain his excitement. The wooden walls of the coffin splintered under the force of his blows, and he could see slivers of light breaking through. With one final, desperate push, he burst through the coffin's confines and into the open air. He gasped for breath, the cool night air filling his lungs. Blinking against the harsh light of the moon, he found himself surrounded by people, their faces a mix of shock and relief. David had been buried alive, with no memory of how he got there or who had done this to him. He was taken to a hospital, where he was examined and questioned by the police but the details of his abduction and burial remained a mystery. As days turned into weeks, David tried to piece together his life, but his memory remained fractured. He couldn't remember his past, his family, or even his own name. The only thing he knew for certain was the terror of being buried alive, a nightmare that would haunt him for the rest of his days. Despite his amnesia, David was determined to find out who had done this to him. He worked closely with the police, and they combed through missing persons reports and investigated potential leads. But as time passed, the trail grew colder, and the truth of his abduction remained frustratingly out of reach. David's life became a quest for answers, a search for the person or people responsible for his ordeal. He couldn't rest until he uncovered the truth and brought his tormentors to justice. But in the darkness of his lost memories, he couldn't shake the feeling that the answers he sought might be more terrifying than he could ever imagine.